What's going on guys? Doing it here bringing you guys another Madden 16 defensive nano blitz and this is actually going to be a 4-3 defensive blitz here coming straight from the right side. Now you don't normally get the edge pressure, you normally just get gap pressure on the right hand side but that was just me showing you guys you can still get it in while in a single back set. Right now we'll go into a shotgun set and I'll show you guys this blitz and how quickly you could set this up. So the blitz is already set up just like that. It's going to be the weak slant three in the four three stack. And you guys can see we get some nice gap pressure there on the right hand side. Now, this is a really easy and fast setup. You don't need a fast lineman over there. You don't need a fast anything on that side to get this blitz in. So what I'll do is I'll show you guys who I have in as my right end real fast. So we act or left end. So we have D Jones. He's a 60 speed guys. We have a 60 speed player in there going in on the blitz so i'll just throw in the 84 speed and show you guys um that there's not going to be too much of a difference but that was in the gun split we'll change formations for you guys real quick um but the play is going to be the 4-3 stack weak slant three and the cincinnati bengals defensive playbook all they want to do is base a line show blitz crash defensive line to the left you want a purple zone this middle linebacker and then just hover and hold your left trigger with this middle linebacker right here so then you guys can see right on the right of screen edge we're able to actually get the nice sack there with some edge pressure now the way that i think that the play works is if um if your guy's a little bit faster than the lineman that's that's also running in there they're going to bump into each other and you're going to kind of be forced to run or, or get some edge pressure on the play so we'll run that play again and i'll go over a little bit slower you want to base a line so y or triangle and right on the d-pad you want to show blitz, so wire triangle and left on the D-pad. You want to crash your lineman to the left, so L1 and left on your joystick. Then you want to purple zone this middle linebacker right here. So you're going to just uh, A or X and then purple. And then what you want to do, well, this guy's supposed to be blitzed. So, um, and then you want to take this linebacker right here. And you just want to come stand right next to this, this lineman. And you just want to hold in your left trigger. And then when your opponent snaps the ball, you can see that on the right of screen edge, he's able to shoot in. I honestly think that having the slower person in that spot actually makes it a little bit better because you're able to get that quick gap pressure. If you're playing Madden Ultimate Team and you're sending in this blitz, I don't think it'll matter if you have like two players that are are both fast, um, like a, a lineman and then also a linebacker in that spot. But you guys can see how easily we're able to get this blitz in, guys, with a very easy setup. Now, this is a very basic blitz. You can slide protect against it. If you block a running back, of course, it's going to, to be stopped. But what I'll do is I'll go into another set here, guys. I'll, do we have a normal set? We'll go into like a normal set here. The 4-3 stack, weak slant 3, base align. We're going to show blitz, crash to the left uh purple and then we're just gonna come user and hold our left trigger right here and then you guys are able to see again on the right hand side besides them both tripping on each other you're actually able to get in there right through that right of screen gap there so we'll run it again for you guys i just want you guys to see that this play does work we'll go into a snugs real fast so base align show blitz crash down when a purple zone and then we just want to yellow right here hold in our left trigger and then you guys are able to see right on that right of screen edge we're able to get in there for the nice sack and this is very consistent guys you know when when you're running this it's not something that you look at and you say this guy's definitely blitzing because it kind of just looks like a regular set guys it just it, it looks so so plain when you're running this blitz but this blitz actually really just gets in every single time guys so again we're going to send this in hold my left trigger right here guys and then right through that gap we're able to get in there with some very nice coverage on the field we're only sending five people and the way that the coverage looks and i'll show you guys again you guys can mess with the coverage on the field as well if you guys need to if you need to throw people on yellows or or baby blues and different things like that you guys definitely can do that so when we set up the blitz here the way that the blitz or the setup looks is like this. So you have a purple on the left side, your user in the middle of the field, and then you have this linebacker right here kind of holding down the right side of the field for you. So it's a pretty good blitz in that sense. You also obviously will have um, 
your deep players so i know that since you're showing the blitz you might be a little nervous the setup is so quick and you don't have to really make any adjustments that you could actually just drop them back just like that to help cover the deep ball and then like i said if you ever needed to you can move this guy over you could throw him on a deep blue purple route on baby blue him. you guys can baby blue this player as well because i know people are going to you know complain about the flats you guys can baby blue both of these players move them down to the line if you have to or want to then i'm just going to hold my left trigger right here and then again on the right of screen we're able to get some nice pressure in there so this is a really nice blitz it's extremely fast and easy to set up like i've said multiple times in the video so when you do have to make adjustments if somebody keeps hitting the flat route man you know a linebacker up or with a safety on the right hand side up on that player so we can't go to the flat um but besides that like i said this is a really basic blitz it's a very fast and easy blitz to set up that's going to get you some nice pressure on the left hand side or on the right hand side guys so i really hope that you guys enjoy this blitz don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and don't forget to thank magic toaster who actually sent me this blitz his twitter is going to be in the description below um as well as his youtube channel i don't think that he posts but i'm going to put that in there anyway so don't forget to thank him in the comment section below for this 4-3 nano blitz i know you guys have been requesting it so i'm happy to finally bring this to you guys so don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and if you haven't already don't forget to follow me on twitter and as always guys this is d money and i'm out well and left on the d-pad you're going to crash your lineman to the left so l1 and left on your joystick then you want a purple zone, this middle linebacker right here. So you're gonna just uh, A or X and then purple. And then what you want to do, well, this guy's supposed to be blitzed. So, um, and then you wanna take this linebacker right here and you just wanna come stand right next to this, this lineman and you just wanna hold in your left trigger. And then when your opponent snaps the ball, you can see that on the right of screen edge, he's able to shoot in. I honestly think that having the slower person in that spot actually makes it a little bit better because you're able to get that quick gap pressure. If you're playing Madden Ultimate Team and you're sending in this blitz, I don't think it'll matter if you have like two players that are are both fast, um, like a, a lineman and then also a linebacker in that spot. But you guys can see how easily we're able to get this blitz in, guys, with a very easy setup. Now, this is a very basic blitz. You can slide protect against it. If you block a running back, of course, it's going to, to be stopped. But what I'll do is I'll go into another set here, guys. I'll Do we have a normal set? We'll go into like a normal set here. The 4-3 stack, weak slant 3, base align. We're going to show blitz, crash to the left, uh, purple. And then we're just going to come user and hold our left trigger right here. And then you guys are able to see again on the right-hand side, besides them both tripping on each other, you're actually able to get in there right through that right of screen gap there. So we'll run it again for you guys. I just want you guys to see that this play does work. We'll go into a snugs real fast. So base align, show blitz, crash down, win a purple zone, and then we just want a yellow right here. Hold in our left trigger, and then you guys are able to see right on that right of screen edge, we're able to get in there for the nice sack. And this is very consistent, guys. You know, when, when you're running this, it's not something that you look at and you say, this guy's definitely blitzing because it kind of just looks like a regular set, guys. It just, it, it looks so, so plain when you're running this blitz, but this blitz actually really just gets in every single time, guys. What's going on guys, doing it here, bringing you guys another Madden 16 defensive nano blitz. And this is actually going to be a 4-3 defensive blitz here coming straight from the right side. Now you don't normally get the edge pressure, you normally just get gap pressure on the right hand side. But that was just me showing you guys you can still get it in while in a single back set. Right now we'll go into a shotgun set and I'll show you guys this blitz and how quickly you could set this up. So the blitz is already set up just like that. It's going to be the weak slant three in the four three stack and you guys can see we get some nice gap pressure there on the right hand side now this is a really easy and fast setup you don't need a fast lineman over there you don't need a fast anything on that side to get this blitz in so what i'll do is i'll show you guys who i have in as my right end real fast so again we're going to send this in 
hold my left trigger right here guys and then right through that gap we're able to get in there with some very nice coverage on the field we're only sending five people and the way that the coverage looks and i'll show you guys again you guys can mess with the coverage on the field as well if you guys need to if you need to throw people on yellows or or baby blues and different things like that you guys definitely can do that so when we set up the blitz here the way that the blitz or the setup looks is like this so you have a purple on the left side your user in the middle of the field and then you have this linebacker right here kind of holding down the right side of the field for you so it's a pretty good blitz in that sense you also obviously will have um your deep players so i know that since you're showing the blitz you might be a little nervous the setup is so quick and you don't have to really make any adjustments that you could actually just drop them back just like that to help cover the deep ball and then like i said if you ever needed to you can move this guy over you could throw him on a deep blue purple route on baby blue one you guys can baby blue this player as well because i know people are going to you know complain about the flat you guys can baby blue both of these players so we act or left end so we have d jones he's a 60 speed guys we have a 60 speed player in there going in on the blitz so i'll just throw in the 84 speed and show you guys um that there's not going to be too much of a difference but that was in the gun split we'll change formations for you guys real quick um, but the play is going to be the 4-3 stack, weak slant 3, and the Cincinnati Bengals defensive playbook. All they want to do is base a line, show blitz, crash defensive line to the left. You want a purple zone, this middle linebacker, and then just hover and hold your left trigger with this middle linebacker right here. So then you guys can see right on the right of screen edge, we're able to actually get the nice sack there with some edge pressure. Now, the way that I think that the play works is if... Um, if your guy's a little bit faster than the lineman that's that's also running in there, they're going to bump into each other and you're going to kind of be forced to run or, or get some edge pressure on the play. So we'll run that play again and I'll go over a little bit slower. You want to base a line, so Y or triangle and right on the D-pad. You want to show blitz, so Y or triangle.